This tutorial is on adding and grooming fur. There are many techniques and ways you can go about doing this, but this is the technique that I found to be the most convenient for me. Before we start adding fur, you need to have a texture map. This texture map will decide which parts of the body will have which colored fur. Because in an animal, different body parts have variations of fur in terms of color, texture or the roughness of fur or clumpiness of it. The color of fur is determined by the texture map, but the other factors are controlled by particle settings. So early on, we, while painting the texture map, it's important to make note of these things as well. And some parts of the body will not have any hair at all. So these parts have to be textured accordingly in order to get the best results. Once you have the texture map, you have to make separate vertex groups for the separate fur groups. With white painting, you can decide the distribution of fur. It'll be very useful to use the reference from photos or concept arts at this stage. It'll make grooming so much easier. And when you have vertex groups, it's time to add fur. In the particle settings, you can decide how many strands you want, the length of the strands, and the distribution. And to get better results, use references to decide how many child particles you want, the clumping of it, and the jitteriness. Once you have a particle system set up, it's time to groom the fur. Use the tools like comb, grow and shrink and cut to stylize and groom accordingly. Once that is done, it's time to add the materials. You can use principal, sh you can use principal shader or principal hair shader, and connect the texture map to that. Principal hair shader is designed specifically for hair, so it's easier to tweak and get better results faster. On this character, I noticed he has some patches of random dark hair, so I added a darker pattern using a noise texture. After adding the fur, I noticed the skin color should be a bit lighter, so I desaturated the color on the skin texture. but the fur right now looks very unnatural and uniform, so it's better to give it a kink when that happens. I decided to give it a bit of a curl so that the fur is more non-uniform but subtle.
and that immediately improved the look and then i added a noise texture to the fur texture as well to break up the constant color and add some noise in it you can adjust the clamping and tweak the settings until you feel like it's done and continue with other fur groups That's it guys, thanks for watching.